Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're taking a look at something pretty special. This is the first Beyblade Stadium ever. So it is the 10th release in the Bakuten shoot line. Uh, and yeah, this is this is the first Beyblade Stadium. I had to double check the uh, the releases for Plastic Gen, but the 10th release is the first Beyblade Stadium ever released. <sighs> Part of me thought about keeping it sealed. It came ripped, so it's partially opened. Um, and part of me wanted to keep it sealed, but since it's already partially opened and since keeping it in the bag does nothing, uh, I figured we'd open it up and we would uh, do a couple battles. I was worried a little bit about fragility, but the walls actually seem like they've got some decent flex to them. Will the, the walls crack? Maybe. Uh, I will eventually tape the walls with like uh, duct tape just to protect them, keep them in one piece. But uh, yeah, we're going to bust it open and we're going to do a couple battles. We're going to do early, early plastic gen releases because I don't know how well this stadium would hold up to the later stuff. But yeah, here's the, the back of the little insert thing. If, if you guys want to see that we do we do have some stickers here for the stadium so we've got some instructions here at the top for where to place them but uh the stadium itself is very small there's no tornado ridge there is a bit of an indent here for sort of um sort of a, a secondary surface i guess uh it is not a complete dish but uh yeah it's pretty interesting i'll pull out one of the other plastic gen stadiums and we'll sort of compare the size. This is a really small stadium. I'll pull out BB-10 as well, just to give you guys a size comparison. <laughs> All right, so here I have one of the sort of like later, more standard sized plastic gen stadiums. And as you can see, it is quite a bit bigger. Massively so, eh, I don't know. Uh, the play area for sure, like it's, it's, it's significantly bigger. And so here is the BB-10 for comparison, sitting straight on top of it. So as you can see, the stadium's definitely got bigger over time. So this one is uh, yeah, quite a bit, quite a bit smaller, kind of easier to tell with the, uh, with the BB-10 on top. So the inner circular area is basically the entire size of the dish for the uh, this old plastic gen one. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off because there is some some, some dust on it, and I'm gonna put these stickers on if they're still sticky, and then we'll do a couple battles. All right, so surprisingly, the stickers were still sticky after 25 years, which is insane. So this thing's mint. It's crazy. First Beyblade Stadium, 1999. That's just crazy. So let's go ahead and pull out some old, some old plastic gen and let's do a couple battles. All right, guys. So we've got the stadium set up. I figured it was only fitting to do the two uh, arrival uh, Beyblades first, so we've got Ultimate Dragoon and we've got Frostic Dronzer, so Tyson and Kai. I'm using the black version uh, for for this battle, but uh, we're also going to be throwing in a couple others. So we've got Polta, which is basically just Saizo. We've got Bistool as well, and we've got uh, Bearing Stinger. So uh, a bunch of the early releases, and we're just going to do a few battles and sort of... Uh, sort of see what happens. I'm gonna try not to go too hard on these, but you know, it is what it is. Okay. 
Frostic takes that one. Let's throw uh, Polta in the mix here. This is one of my favorite plas early plastic gen releases. I love the Polta bit chip. It's super cute. And uh, I love the, the color of this Beyblade. The clear red looks awesome. I think I'm gonna call that one a tie. All right, Ultimate Dragoon getting in a point. Let's do one more. The center part of, oh, okay. The center part of the stadium is like super flat. So I, I'm, I, I feel like you guys can tell pretty much by the camera. So like the, the concave is really on this outer portion. This center part is super flat. So, all right, let's move on. Let's uh, finish off with Bistool versus uh, Bearing Stinger. So Bearing Stinger has the first bearing tip release. It also has a palm tip, first palm tip. Um, and then this tool is iconic. It's basically just a recolor of Frostic Dronzer, but um, it was used at the World Championships, the first World Championships. So Bistool definitely has the better attack ring, but Bearing Stinger has that bearing. So I'm interested to see sort of how this works out. Pretty convincing win for Bistool. Ooh, okay. All right, Bistool, I see you. Just for the heck of it, let's do Bistool versus Frostic Dronzer. So the attack rings are a little different and this, uh, the tip on this frostic is like super worn. Somebody probably launched it on concrete. Shout out, you know, early plastic gen days when the anime was all about fighting in the street. So everybody launched their Beyblades on concrete. This tool is just too strong, I guess. So I'm interested to know everybody's thoughts on this stadium. I think it's super cool. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I opened it. I'm glad I documented it and sort of made a video on it. If you guys wanna see any other battles in this video, uh, feel free to drop a comment letting me know what you would like to see. So uh, it held up pretty good. Obviously nothing too crazy, nothing super heavy. Uh, or super aggressive in here, but uh, nothing cracked. So uh, yeah, it's uh, impressive that it's, you know, seems to be holding up just fine. Stickers were still sticky and it's, you know, 25 years later. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like for the algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Beyblade content from Plastic Gen all the way to Beyblade X. And I will see you all in the next one.